Hello guys, this is a continuation of the same lecture that we were having before. So yeah, as I mentioned that these are some of the reasons but not all reasons that are going to give us some kind of assurance that okay, Pakistan is not going to collapse like Sri Lanka. So this is a big thing, uh, you know, a big reassurance for us that we do have something. Let's give me a, let me give you a recap. Atomic power, a global entities will take significant efforts to refinance debt ridden country. IMF loans. So all of these points, they are of significant importance. Why? Because we need to discuss this. We need to understand that some of the capabilities are in Pakistan that it needs to, it needs to actually, you know, reap inside. It needs to figure out themselves. Like we can see them. We can see there are so many resources in Pakistan, but Pakistan is not looking at them. Pakistan, that is why I like what Imran Khan says that you don't have to be a slave. You are not in that condition. That you're going to be, you know, just dominated by people or people are going to dictate, you know, you you, ha you are facing a bad uh, road at this point. You're facing a bad time, but it doesn't mean that you don't have capabilities or you're weak. No, you're not weak. You're strong. You need to realize your strengths. That is something which is very important. Next, we have... Just give me a second. All right. So, this, these were some of the reasons that we discussed. Moving on, we have reasons, again, some more reasons why Pakistan is not going to collapse like Sri Lanka. Uh, loan from the Arab world. Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates would give 4 billion loans soon after the IMF dip disperses its tranche. So once IMF has given its loan to, uh, you know, Pakistan, then Saudi Arabia is also ready. And the United Arab Emirates, they are, they are ready that they are going to give 4 billion loans soon after the IMF has given his loan. So there are some of the loans that are in the pipeline for Pakistan that they will receive some loans even though they are, uh, you know, having a lot of uh, external debt. But it's not like that the countries, they just are not going to altogether give them any loan. No, they are saying that, okay, Saudi Arabia and United Arab Emirates would give 4 billion loans soon after the IMF disperses its tranche. So we know that IMF has also agreed to give the loan. We know Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates has also agreed to give the loan. So there's some kind of hope that's not like because Sri Lanka was having, if you compare it with Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka was not having any finances now. Sri Lanka is going in a very bad, tough position because it doesn't have any finances to regain, to redeem its country. So that is a big problem. Then World Bank and Asian Development Bank. Pakistan will have easier access to funds from other international lenders, including World Bank and Asian Development Bank. When these countries, IMF, they're going to give loans to Pakistan, then obviously there will be a, you know, you can say a way would be created that even the World Bank and other Asian Development Banks that we have, right, they're also going to think that, okay, if IMF has given, uh, you know, uh, some loan to Pakistan and they're extending their help, then why not we... So Pakistan will have easier access to funds from other international lenders as well, including the World Bank and the Asian Development Bank. Then remittances has suppressed the current account deficit to almost 14 billion. So remittance, uh, there are some remittance that we are getting, still getting due to the exports that we are having. The remittance has decreased a lot, but still there are remittances that we are having and that is the reason that it has suppressed the current account deficit to almost 14 billion. Overall, I do agree we have less remittances, we have less foreign exchange, but we do have some foreign exchange, uh, some remittances that is quite reassuring that it has suppressed the, uh, the current account deficit to almost 14 billion. Again, a very important thing, a very reassuring point that while we know that the, we have these problems, we know that we have solutions in these problems as well. All right, so again, letting you know, loan from the Arab world, World Bank and Asian Development Bank, remittances. So three points, these, three points, these, nation, nation is in atomic power in the world, cannot afford a bankrupt Pakistan. Global entities will take significant efforts to finance the debt ridden country, IMF loan. Why I'm reading these again and again, so that you people can just put this in your mind. And if someone asks you that, okay, Pakistan is also, also going to fail or Pakistan is going towards disaster and, and just going to collapse very soon, you should just tell them, you should put them these, you should just, you know, enlighten them with these points so that they understand. Very important. Then we have remittances have suppressed the current account deficit to almost 14 billion. Pakistan rupee is getting stronger. Rupee PKR has gained as much as 8.5%. Now we know that Pakistan rupee is not, uh, you know, as compared to like other countries, it it is decreasing. It has fell 
in value it is deteriorating but we also know that you know the pkr rupee has gained as much as 8.5% like from the situations that some of the times that we had previously it still had had gain a bit so it has rise the most in over 5 years in over 5 years the condition of this one has a little bit improved now at this point it has decreased but it's an artificial kind of a thing that we are facing and hopefully it's going to be soon over so rupee pkr has gained as much as 8.5% again i think all these points are clear i'm going to read these again for you just the heading so that you are aware well aware of these reasons why pakistan is not going to collapse like sri lanka nation is an atomic power and the world cannot afford a bankrupt pakistan global entities will take significant efforts to refinance their debt ridden country imf loan again a point some more reasons why pakistan is not going to collapse loan from the arab world world bank and the asian development bank remittances pakistan rupee is getting stronger so all of these points have some great importance and some great you can say uh you know leverage that is providing pakistan to think that no it's not going to uh collapse before i move to the last slide i like to take you back and show you these pictures i love the pictures over here there's some you know great uh you it's telling you about euros and all the you know cry the flags of economic crisis in pakistan and sri lanka flag pakistan flag all of these things the graphs these bar charts they just make the uh, slides very interesting and very you know you can say nicely made and then there are these inflation it's showing you that it was going it was increasing increasing and now it's going on top initially what used to happen is that whenever there is inflation in a country or this you know if you're facing some kind of problem it always fluctuates so it goes down it goes up it goes down it goes up but now this is what they're facing again so inflation is a big mark it's a board made over here so that you know that how inflation is crucial again covid 19 very important very important to understand covid 19 is another aspect we should discuss in some other topic and how it has affecting but you know that covid 19 has caused a lot of dis uh, discrepancies and disruptions in pakistan as well in their operations so again uh, it was a reason to enhance economic crisis of pakistan but again there are some reasons that has stopped pakistan from failing i have think we have discussed these so again all these points should be clear to everyone all right some more points for you i am going to discuss these in detail as well and then i'm going to give you a summary of the entire thing that we discussed because it's very important so first of all we can look at this picture what does this picture show you i hope we had we were having a live lecture and i would have just you know definitely uh asked you some your thoughts and your views as well but that's why i tell you to please just keep on putting your views putting your uh, uh questions your queries your suggestions your thoughts on the topic in the comment section so that i can always read them i always look at your comments i always see what you people are saying if you're liking the lectures any suggestions that you have in the future lectures just feel free to give me those uh, suggestions as well and i'll make sure that i just incorporate them in my uh, next lectures and i'll always just try to you know uh, help you with it so just make sure that you are always there to you know uh, just share your opinion because it's always good to have to see what you people are these lectures are for you right so it's if these lectures are for you so it's very important and very crucial to have your uh, feedback on these topics as well that's why i just always keep on telling you to write just comment and just tell me if you're liking the lectures what do you think about it what better should be made in these lectures and all that all right why because this is going to help me and you both to understand that you know how the lectures are going do you like the way i made the make these lectures if you want more wordy lectures you want less wordy lectures you want pictures what do you want right so i want to understand and hear that okay coming back to this uh, picture i was discussing it with you so i told you that it's like a you can see dollars amount and then uh you know you can see that there is pak rupee as well thousand bundle and 100 dollars bundle as well over here so okay now let's see that how pakistan china is helping china has stepped in china also helped pakistan previously and stepped up through the uh you know uh the other plan that they were having that was the cpac uh you know initiative again 
it was a very big initiative they put they gave a lot of help to pakistan in order to you know just make sure that they are uh, you know they just stay in the place and they do not deteriorate their condition they helped at that time as well so overall china another pakistan ally ally those people who do not know what ally means ally basically are partners or are uh, you know the helpers or you can say the basically those countries from with which a country has a friendly relationship so when i say that china is a, another ally of pakistan it means that china is a friend of pakistan is a is a supporter is a well wisher of pakistan all right so china another pakistan ally has also stepped in to help the country with 2.3 billion loan again a lot a lot help from china going to further enhance the economic cooperation all right so they have also promised that not just 2.3 billion loan that we are providing you we are going to also help you with the economic cooperation we are going to help you with some you know other we are going to oh, have some more developmental programs in your uh, country and why do they help us what what benefit do they have many people might have this question that why is china so kind to us because china knows the true potential in pakistan they know that how much raw materials we have they know that how much you know abundant and rich in uh, minerals we are in balochistan and you know so they know what pakistan has that is why they always invest in pakistan because they know that the benefits would be great they're going to earn a lot that is the reason the china uh, which is an ally of pakistan has stepped in uh, in the country to help with 2.3 billion loan and is help promised to help in the economic cooperation in, in economic expansion by you know more uh, industrial plans more uh, you know agricultural plans by more you can say every sector to redeem every sector they have offered help and they have promised that they're not going to leave them alone why because they know the true potential they know that if we, they're going to invest their money in pakistan they're going to get some a lot of profits back for their country as well so that is the reason that they are helping pakistan All right, moving on. Pakistan have enough foreign reserves. I told you that Pakistan is depleting its foreign reserves, but it still has some, uh, you know, uh, foreign reserves. Unlikely to default on foreign debt. All right, so foreign debt. It's obviously they do have foreign debt, but they have those reserves as well, which are going to help them to protect them. And then there are so many people who are offering those reserves, right? So much of the debt owned to Saudi Arabia and China are often rolled over easily. You get that? so because they they know that there are reserves over there and these countries are helping them so ultimately what will happen if they're going to give them loans they're going to in pakistan is going to invest in the country they're going to uh, earn a lot of profit a lot of money and at the end what will happen they're going to give this amount uh, you know they're going to return the loans to saudi arabia and china why because they have potential they have true potential they have true foreign reserves basically available which is going to help them and assist them to not only make profits for their country not only just expand their export sector and to you know have to to facilitate domestic industry so that imports are discouraged but to have a good relationship with the other countries as well so that is the reason that they're saying that much of the debt that is going to be given to pakistan they're going to make sure they're going to try that they earn maximum benefit from them and they just not only just uh, give the debt back to those people those countries who have given them but also to enhance their country as well so that is that is another reassuring point for pakistan that okay pakistan even though is uh, f- facing such problems is not going to just deem to failure finance ministry for now has arranged over 50 55 billion sorry inflows have have now been planned and ready so finance ministry of pakistan they are arranging they are not just leaving everything like that they know the situation they understand the condition and they are working on their end and they have arranged over 5 billion uh, in flows have been planned and arranged for pakistan so these are some of the reasons as i mentioned which are reassuring that pakistan is not going to fail as sri lanka uh, because sri lanka is not having these facilities they are not having these plans these are, they are not having these offers or extended help from different countries or imf or world bank or asian bank and that is the reason that you know we say that sri lanka is in a bad condition but pakistan can redeem itself and pakistan is not going to collapse like sri lanka so after giving you a feedback uh, after giving you you know a, a basically an overview of pakistan can't fail like sri lanka attached the economic crisis 
then i touched some of the similarities of pakistan and sri lanka and then reasons why pakistan is not going to collapse like sri lanka so these are some of the reasons that we discussed thank you very much for watching and as i told you earlier i'll be looking forward to receiving your comments in the comment section just feel free to comment share your opinions share your views and i hope this lecture was beneficial for you until next time thank you very much regards sparkle college